Hey guys, Zagrin here. Another video about using my clip adapters for the FlashCat USB export. This time I'm going to go over using them in circuit since I know how tricky it can be to use them in circuit. So first off we have to identify the flash that we're using. In this case it's a Samsung flash uh, and this is a PS3 if you didn't know already. So now that we know what flash we're looking for, we want to check the Embedded Computer's website to make sure that the export is compatible with it. So here I just have the export page open, then go down to Samsung NANDs, and search, and boom, there it is. So it's supported, but now we want to make sure what voltage we need to set it at. So you know, do a Google search, pull up a data sheet, and boom, works between 2.7 volts and 3.6 volts. So now we know we need to set the export to 3.3 volts. And if we use a power supply, that we also need to set that to 3.3 volts. So now we need to download the FlashCat USB software, which I already have, and open it up. So now that we have the software, we just have to connect our export. And we can see that the firmware is out of date, so we need to update that. So disconnect the export. Set the switch to firmware. Reconnect it. Then hit the button, and then go to AVR firmware, load file, and it's going to pull it up for us. And program. Hit start application, and we're updated. Now I always like to unplug it, switch it back. And next what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna change or make sure the mode is set to a parallel flash. And since this is a NAND, I'm gonna go to protocol settings and change it to combined. At least that's what I do for this NAND in particular. Now that we have the software all set up for the export, we can go ahead and start um, attaching the clip to the NAND. So first off, you're gonna wanna clean the uh, pins of the NAND with isopropyl alcohol and Q-tip. You know, just go over them, make sure that they're nice and clean, there's like no dust on there. And you can go ahead and do like the top and around it just to make sure that you get con good contact you can do the same thing with the clip pins themselves. And then we want to make sure that the export is set to 3.3 volts in this case. And we got to start connecting everything together. And for the PS3, I have to use an external power supply. So I'm using my power supply adapter, clip it all on top, and then we want to make sure that the dot on the clip lines up with the dot on the NAND on the board, and just kind of place it there loosely for now. So yeah, now we place the clip on there. I mean, it's relatively on there. Um, and then we're going to connect the micro USB cable for the power supply. Uh, make sure that's on the regulator and on 3.3 volts. So we'll plug this in. And then we'll plug in the flash cat. Uh, 
then open up the console and flash device not detected. So it's usually just that you're not making good contact and so you just press down on it and kind of wiggle it around and look there we go it's recognized so obviously you don't want to hold it like this during the whole time so I usually end up putting something on top of it while it's reading but yeah once it's detected then you can move over to reading and writing it so now that we have the NAND detected we can get over to the NAND flash tab and start reading it and so you just click the read button hit OK for reading the full NAND it's going to save it as a bin file in the flashcat USB folder and then it's going to run for a while so I'll start the video back up when it's closer to the end so now you can see that the NAND has been read all the way and you can scroll down through this and you can see the data there there are supposed to be large chunks that are uh, just all F and so you can compare it um, it'll read the flash again and compare it to the file you dumped but there are a couple other things that I like to do um, typically I'll just dump it again and then compare the two so in this case I already have another dump file and I'm going to use a MD5 checker to make a hash of the two files to um, see if they match up which MD5 checker you just download it there's all kinds of different MD5 summing tools and see they match up so I know that we have a good dump and then another way you can check them is by using HXD which is a hex editor which you can also just download online and again you can scroll through the contents of the bin file itself but you can also run statistics under that analysis tab and it'll show you um, the contents of the bin file as like percentages so you can see you know not too much but um, if it had like a hundred percent F or you know a hundred percent zeros then you have a blank flash or you're having some kind of reading error unless that's like what you're expecting it to be a blank flash but this is an easy way to see like okay there is data in there so yeah now I'm comparing it to the same file I dumped earlier so now it's gonna reread the NAND um, using the export and comparing it to the one I just dumped All right now it's almost done verifying it and look it's a hundred percent match Yeah, those are a couple different ways that you can verify it. So yeah, that's pretty much how you use my clip adapters and circuit. I am going to make a troubleshooting video as well, which I'll have linked. And on my website, I have some guides for using my clip adapters that you can check out. Um, the using one usually mostly has stuff about doing it with PS3 specifically then I have the whole troubleshooting section bunch of stuff and then if you're using 
this for doing stuff with PS3. You can also look at my PS3 downgrading guides. Normally, um, after this, you can pretty much skip to the NAND or NOR dumping and flashing sections. Uh, obviously with changes with using the export instead of uh, my previous boards. So if you need help with any of this stuff, you can um, you can chat with me on Riot IM, and this is like the room you can join. Riot's pretty much like Discord or IRC. It's just another like open source chat app. Uh, you can also go to the blackcatusb.net forums and you can post there if you need help. Uh, obviously you can also email me. Um, and then, yeah, you can buy the clip adapters on my website. It's under hardware clip adapters. I know. And then the export you can buy on embeddedcomputers.net. It's under the product page and then the export. So yeah, hopefully that was useful.